I'm having fun out here, just being with the team and practices, workouts. It's just all, you know, refreshing and getting to class on time and doing the work is just something new for me. Must be one of your first events where you really see the fans and get away from the facility. How's it been so far just meeting the fan base that you've heard so much about? Uh, it's fun. I actually met another person named Casey today. So, <laughs> so that was the highlight of my day so far. What has this adjustment been like? I know you haven't played really, you know, you, you, you've met the team, you've done some things, but you haven't really dug yourself into everything. How do you think this is going to play out over the next few months when the season gets a little closer and people start getting a little bit more crazy? I feel like the next few months going to be even more fun for me. Uh, I, we have a tight group. Uh, everybody on the team get along pretty well, so I know they got my back. I got their back, so there's nothing that could really break us. Uh, I get the same thing from everybody. They all great leaders, great people. Uh, I feel like I won't get any bad advice from any of them. So if I need something, it doesn't matter who I call. Uh, I feel like I do everything pretty well. So I play on both ends of the court uh, and I'm a winner. So that's what they'll get. I know that everybody doesn't play defense. So if that's what sets me apart from everybody, that's what I'm willing to do. Plus it wins, it helps us win. So I'm gonna do anything that helps us win. Uh, I can always do more. That's the mindset that I have. So if you want me to play more defense, I'll play more defense. I'll play harder. I'm just going to do whatever we need to do to win. Who do you consider yourself similar to either at the college or pro game? Uh, Drew Holiday. That's a good comparison, I think, it's for me. Why is that? Because he plays on both ends of the floor. He knows how to create his own. He knows how to get his teammates involved. He knows how to play defense and be active on both ends. What kind of outside game do you have? Uh, I feel like we'll do good shooting this year. We all been in the lab, getting up shots, working on it. We're all getting better, so I feel like that won't be the narrative anymore. You're advanced for your age defensively, but you've also put together some highlight reel plays, had a nice dunk in the Jordan game. You want to brag on anyone you've dunked on at UK yet behind closed doors? Have you had any big plays? I plead the fifth. Okay, <laughs> but it's happened, I'm sure, right? I plead the fifth. Okay. Yeah. Jay Lucas was kind of the main guy beyond you can run the end of the next relationship. When he decided to make the move to Duke, how did you feel about that? He's doing what's best for himself. I can't be mad at that. So just I didn't commit to Kentucky for a coach or a player. I came to be a part of the program. So him leaving, it did, it affected me but not to where I leave. How's it been being around the reigning National Player of the Year, Big Oscar, maybe the nicest guy in the world. How's that been getting to know him? Uh, it's actually pretty funny because he always come in the locker room seeming get something different. So <laughs> I know every time I see him, I get a laugh in. Has, <laughs> has he let anyone get a rebound in practice yet? I actually got a rebound over him and talk trash for the whole week. So. <laughs> there we go.